I'm Chef Jasper, and today we're in the kitchen with an herbed breadcrumb halibut, so fresh, so delicious, and so easy. Let's start off. We're gonna make a little mixture on top. This breadcrumb mixture is just really simple. Some lemon, and all we need to do is just, I, okay, all we need is just, is just great this, but seriously, I may overdo it. I like a lot of lemon. I'm not going to waste it either because I'm going to use the juice on top of my seafood. That's right. That's about enough of the, uh, the lemon rind there. And now, of course, we're going to make our mixture, our breadcrumb mixture. Panko breadcrumbs. I love them. I like the crunch rather than regular breadcrumbs. But you can use either or. And a little bit of Parmesan or Romano cheese. Either or. Remember, Romano is a little saltier, so be careful. Parsley, of course, a little bit of thyme, and basilico, you know me, come on, fresh basil. You gotta have that mixture in there. No salt, you know, we, we're okay with the cheese. Uh, no pepper, that's up to you if you like a little pepper. Sometimes even a little red pepper is good. But that's it, that's our mixture right there along with the melted butter, okay? And now, a little bit of olive oil right in the bottom. You can use food release, not a lot. And then we're gonna place our fish right in here. But first of all, watch this. I get the olive oil just like that first. And now I have a nice little coating on top of that. And then a little bit of the lemon juice right on top. Oh, you're gonna love this recipe, especially with the charred tomato orzo, oh my. So a little lemon juice, and then what I do is I actually get the lemon, and I like to quarter it or just half, it doesn't really matter. And I like that in the pan, because then when it comes out of the oven, we can actually just squeeze it more right on top. So we'll roast that. Now we get our breadcrumb mixture here, and we put it right on top. Now some people actually bread the whole fish. That's okay, I don't do that. I just gently place this right on top. I'm telling you, I don't know if I like the breadcrumb mixture more or, of course, the fish, this halibut. It's fresh. It is really, really mild and delicious. Did I overdo it with the uh, panko breadcrumb mixture? I don't think so. Just like that. That's about all I need to do. The little extra crumbs around the side, yes, that fall off, oh, they're even better. You'll love it. Let's place in the oven about maybe 15 minutes or so. Check it after 15 minutes. Maybe you like it a little bit longer, that's okay. And now it's time for some orzo, charred tomato orzo. Oh, you're gonna like this recipe. Start off with a little bit of butter. <laughs> you know me and a little bit of butter, but still. Don't worry about that butter burning. That's what we want. It's not gonna burn, it's just browning. That's where I get all my flavor, it's nutty. It's so flavorful like this. And these tomatoes, this goes very, very quickly. And notice I reserved a little bit of the uh, butter because I'm gonna add that back with the orzo. A little bit of garlic, some fresh herbs. You have a quick and easy dish. All you need to do is cook and prepare that orzo ahead of time. That's about enough right there of the tomatoes. This goes quickly. Never put the fresh herbs in uh, this time. We don't wanna do that, but watch this, what happens here. These tomatoes are already starting to char, starting to blister a little bit. I never put the garlic in until I think I'm ready because I don't want it to burn, remember? Oh yeah, nothing to it, come on. The garlic, how quick, we don't wanna burn it. Here we go, the orzo, just as much as you think you're gonna need. Give that a good toss. The orzo, of course, was cooked ahead of time. You may want a little bit of broth in there if you have a little bit of broth. Some salt, I love the kosher sea salt. And now my fresh herbs, they're just about ready to put in here. A little bit of thyme, look at this. Yeah, and this even has the flowers still on it. Oh yeah, they're coming up right now. It doesn't get any fresher than this right here. That's all we have to do. I toss it one more time. Some basil, I never chop the basil, I just always tear it just like this. We don't want to bruise that basil and mix this right along with that. Maybe a little bit of spicy red pepper. Oh, come on. You have another simple and easy dish. Herb filled orzo, charred tomatoes, along with that halibut. It's going to be delicious. Herb breadcrumb halibut. Oh yeah, that's right. 
it was slow cooked in that oven. Of course, a little risotto. No, that's not risotto. That's orzo pasta. Of course, with some charred tomatoes, a little bit of fresh thyme, and we have a delicious dish using that halibut. So flavorful, so fresh. Everyone in the family is going to love it. I know I'm going to enjoy it, and I'll enjoy serving it to my friends and family. Brought to you by Hen House Markets.